How's it everybody, Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are continuing the grand tour of the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament Goku. I will defeat you! Alrighty, so... Our rotations are kind of all over the place, and Kid Goku is locked in the third slot. Wow. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's grab that. Uh, may as well just take advantage of Beast Gohan being here and getting all of his um, damage out. Uh, the more we can build up now, the better. Um, and we do have one of our Gokus coming in the third slot there, so we could probably push Gohan off next rotation. We'll have to see. I think it depends on how everything plays out here. The problem is, we want to get Gohan next to, um, STR Carnival Goku. One, for the attack buff, and two, because they share four links on this team. But, I don't know that we can do that. All right, so we did bring along this Krillin. I mean, I, I have been using this Krillin on every single run, and I gotta say, he is just as good as the Goku. This is a very well-designed uh, banner unit, and once I finally uh, get his links up, I'll probably do a max showcase for him. He's that good. He's one of the few banner units in a while that I may actually do this for. Um, I think the last... The last one was the pan, maybe? I'm not actually sure. I can't even remember the last time I actually showcased a banner unit. Alright, time to go all out! Forget about destroying this world! I won't let it happen! Alright, excellent. So we got one Goku here. And that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Okay. Actually, because I was thinking just now that maybe we could rotate off Carnival Goku and put him with Gohan, leave Gohan, and then just rotate off Krillin next turn, but locking uh, Jackie Chun in the third slot is actually kind of screws all that up. <laughs> okay, so may have some trouble here. Right, well, nice. We get the additional super. Goku does have guaranteed guard this turn, right? Um, so we should be able to launch an additional super with the friend. Oh, well, he's sealed. Never mind. So we'll just do a bunch of normals, I guess. Um, okay. Well, as long as we take the defensive and offensive raises, is, that's fine. Um, this Jackie Chun is actually proving to be more and more helpful. And he gets the stun. Nice. Okay, so... Well, actually, no, that's not nice. With him being stunned, that actually puts a wrench in things. Goku's completely useless here. Um, I guess we just take advantage of Gohan and getting his supers off, right? That's probably best play. Yeah, okay. And we'll just leave the Goku here, and we'll let him build next turn. We'll rotate off the villain, which means we'll have to rotate off Carnival Goku next turn. Jeez, okay. this The ceiling and the locking, that is the one thing I hate about Omega Shenron. <laughs> All right, so we got down the first phase, and that'll roll us into the STR phase. Um, and I think, yeah, by the time we circle back around, Gohan will have lost his uh, entrance buff. So we got to be careful. But once we make it to the final phase, we'll be solid. All right, and of course, there's no attacks in the third slot. So now we can't rotate off Carnival Goku because we need to get his uh, passive up. Okay, well, that, <laughs> jeez. Um... This has to be some of the worst attack a place. I, I never thought I'd find myself complaining about the attack placement in this manner, that we're not getting attacks that we need. And that's because just about every unit here needs to be hit. <laughs> okay. Um, at least we managed to get the seven spheres for Kid Goku, so we'll have the extra damage reduction for Carnival Goku, who still needs some time to build. But we wouldn't want him to take any of those hits anyway, so this is fine. Goku still taking no damage whatsoever. Um, I, I gotta hand it to Dokkan. Like, they handled these last two Goku, Goku units really, really well. Um, the God Goku and now this Goku. Like, 
they are monsters. God Goku can't be touched because of his dodging. This guy can't be touched because of his guard. Ooh, and as I say that, Carnival Goku takes 300k. Now imagine if we didn't get the seven spheres with Kid Goku. That would have been bad. But that's alright. We're good. Um, can we get an extra super out of here with a crit? No. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, boy. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see here. We rotate off Gohan. Yeah, let's take that. We'll get a little bit of a heal. Grab that with Jackie Chan. Okay, so we're finally in a position. Ah, oh, man, that did not land. I was hoping that would land enough to get the additional super, but that's okay. This is the last attack Gohan needs um, to be fully built up, so that means when we launch the Makan Kosapol, um, it will actually deal quite a bit of damage. Elk of God, really? You had to dodge that? Okay, well, either way, as I was saying, when we finally do la launch Gohan's active skill, um, it'll actually deal the most amount of damage, so... Okay, excellent. Thirty k. Okay, so he's slowly building. So Jackie Chun is another one of those characters. Like you want him to be getting his eighteen key and taking hits, right? Because then he reduces the damage received. He's actually really, really good, and the fact that he's supporting the Goku is really, really helpful as well. Um, so like I'm trying to set it up so I can have a turn with Goku, Krillin, and Jackie Chun uh, supporting just to watch Goku go to town. Ooh, Gohan's taking the super, and we get the nullification. Nice. So we walk out of here with no damage, and we can't stand by yet. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, okay. All right, let's take that. We'll just leave the Goku on. We'll rotate. We'll rotate the Krillin back to the other rotation. Um, man, this is crazy. We could not keep a rotation this entire fight. But that just shows you how good this Goku is. Like, we can keep messing up our rotations and still manage to pull this off. He is taking no damage whatsoever. And mind you, we're past his entrance passive. Right? And in fact, next turn, we'll be able to stand by. Uh, assuming we fall below the threshold. There we go. All right, Krillin, do your thing. There's one. Perfect. And even in slot three, when he doesn't have his extra damage reduction, he's taking no damage. I love this unit. All right, let's see here. Um, what do we do? We take that. Yeah. Okay, and then we grab that with Kid Goku. It's just one attack he has to take. And as long as that one attack is not the super, we're fine. There we go. Look at all these attack. Gonna let Goku get some nice build here. This is our 79% copy, by the way. All right, 7.3, excellent. There's one. We get the normal, and we get the additional super up to 7.9. Nice. Alright, and with that, Kid Goku hopefully can launch an extra super or two, protect himself just a little bit. There's... Alright, excellent. There we go, we get the crit. Alright, double digits, nice. Alright, Jackie Chun. Um, oh, he gets the dodge, okay. Ooh, wow, taking a lot of damage there. All right, and we have Carnival Goku's uh, active skill up now. Everybody is where they need to be. Excellent, so let's go ahead, let's put Carnival Goku there. Um, okay, well, we're just gonna get the 12 key. Hopefully that's enough to take down Omega. And we'll get a nice little heal here with Goku. All right, we're doing pretty solid here. There we go. There 
There we go. Excellent. So we are down and into the final int phase. So this will be the true test for Goku, being that he is at type disadvantaged here. So uh, we're going to put Krillin in the first slot since that's where he'll have the most defense. We'll grab this and can we, yes, we can get seven for Carnival Goku. So Krillin will get the Dokkan attack here, but that's okay. We need Krillin to Time absorb to the serious. hits in slot one because um, that's where he's best. So let's grab one. Oh, okay. Three, four, five, six. Excellent. So go um, let's see. Maybe we can circle back around. We have the other Goku coming. Um, if we somehow don't take him down next turn. Uh, we'll be able to stand by with Goku. So, yet another red zone run with this Goku that we are just unable to stand by because just, he cannot die. Um, he has a standby mode that we just can't activate. This is insane and kind of awesome, actually. Alright, excellent. We get another super... And remember, oh no, he doesn't have the effect of Skull Types because nobody's revived yet. <laughs> now imagine if we actually had that. Excellent. And we get the double super with Kid Goku. Nice, we actually pulled off the triple this turn. That's crazy to think. You can have a 55% uh, unit pulling off triple supers. All right, and he's taking double digits. All right, and let's see. Where's that super at? Right there at the very end. Okay, so... Uh, wow, we're actually going to kill him. So let's just go ahead and do this. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's have Carnival Goku grab that, and let's finish things off with Beast Gohan. Guess it's my turn. Special Beam Cannon! Excellent. Wow, look at that. It's kind of nice to have these extra dupes in Gohan there to see that big attack stat at the end. Excellent. So, there you have it, folks. There is the Ultimate Red Zone Omega Shenron complete with the Tech 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament Goku. Um, I gotta say, this was a pretty fun leg of his grand tour, if only because one, type disadvantage, but two, also showing that, like, this dude just cannot die. We cannot, I mean, literally, you have to have somebody else on the team take the hits, right? So you can get him to standby mode, because he's not going to be the one to do it. Um, it also kind of hurts him, like, if he shows up to turn two, what I figured out, is it actually counts six turns from that sh uh, uh, from that turn, right? So he technically can't stand by till turn eight. So you'll see, like, that was really far into the fight by the time um, we would have been able to stand by. Um, it's kind of unfortunate, but it does make things a little harder to activate it. But, I mean, if you don't need it, you don't need it, right? If he's doing work, let him do work without needing it. It's just kind of there when you do. And that's kind of what I really like about this unit. He's just, he's got everything you need. He's got guard. He's got additionals. He's got a revive. Like that's what more can you ask for in a unit, right? He also has effective against all types to, <laughs> to go on top of his additionals. So anyways, guys, that is the video. That is the third leg of the grand tour of the Tech 23rd World Martial Arts tournament goku i gotta say i am loving this card and if you guys are make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know your thoughts on this goku otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and
and aloha.